Okay, here's some basic rules of differentiation. The first one is the constant rule. When it, it says this, the constant rule, the derivative of a constant function is zero. That is, if c is a real number, then d dx of c is zero. And it sounds, um, I don't know, it sounds pretty uh, meaningful until you get to the part where it's just really, really straightforward, makes sense kind of stuff. So let this be the Cartesian plane, if you don't mind. And let's let this, if you don't mind, be this constant function here. Right? And we say this is the function y equals, uh, what do we call it? C. Let's let y equals c. So some number like 5 or 13 or, or something. <clears throat> and ddx means the slope. And the slope, what is the slope of this? The slope of this is 0. That is to say, as we move from some point to some other arbitrary point, how much did the height of the function change while we were on our little journey? And it didn't change at all, did it? So that's really this. This just has to be uh, quantified in calculus. So so here's our explanation here. I guess I was, I was going to draw Fred Flintstone there. Okay, so we get that one out of the way. Hopefully you're going to add that to your collection. And remember, because that's going to be meaningful in a second. Then we might do this. We might say if f of x equals 3, find f prime at x. And we're going to say here's if this function is a function y equals 3, then its derivative is zero that's going to come in handy later so okay let's move on to this rule this is kind of everybody's favorite rule everybody likes to use this rule and it just says this it's the power rule and if n is a rational number then the function f of x is equal to x to the power of n is differentiable and its derivative d dx of x to the n power is n times x to the n minus one power see all these n's are the same color because this is what happens here first thing you do is t take this in, multiply it by whatever's in the front here, get that, and then decrement by one. Example. Ex here, let's take one we know. Um, here's one we know. Uh, let's say f of x is equal to 3x. Right? So we know that the, the slope of this, it, this is a line, we know that its slope is 3, isn't it? Well, look at it this way. It's x to the first power, isn't it? 1 times 3 is 3. Right? Then we have x, but it's x to the 1 minus 1 power, which is x to the 0. And x to the 0 is 1. So f prime at x equals 3. That is to say, the slope of that line is 3. I think that's what we expect. What about this? We say uh, exam another example. We have um, if f of x equals 27. Remember, if it's f of x is 27, then it looks like this, doesn't it? It's this line up here, that y equals 27 there, isn't it? So what's the, what's the derivative here? What's the slope? Well, the slope of this line is 0, isn't it? Well, let's look at it this way. So, so is, let's call this 27x to the 0 power, isn't that right? Because x to the 0 is 1. x, I'm sorry, 0 times 27 is 0. And then x to the 0 minus 1 is x to the negative 1, x to the negative 1. But it doesn't matter because it's still going to be 0 times this is 0. So we know that, again, f, sorry, f prime at x, the slope is 0. So these first two examples are, I think, really, really easy examples of kind of that should make sense to you. But what if you had something a little bit more complicated like this one? We take this function here and we say, okay, oops, sorry. And let's say this is f of x is equal to x squared. Well, finding the slope of this is more difficult because the slope continues to change, doesn't it? The slope is negative here, 0 here, positive over here. So what's the slope? So let's use the power rule. Use the power rule here, and we'd have if f of x is equal to x squared. Let's do this, x squared here. And we'd have f prime at x is equal to 2 times 1 is 2. x to the 2 minus 1 is just x, isn't it? Okay, so hopefully that was helpful.